Welcome back to the Zoo House. Today is a special video because we have not been uploading in a long time. About a year now and um, I've been thinking we should upload on our um, video content and new pets so then we can provide better content um, for more people to watch our videos so then they can learn new facts about um, these pets and um, We've been glad to see that you um, are all well. Um, so today I would like to um, show all of our new pets and tell um, you about them. What here, um, you must have been wondering what is inside of this cage. Um, well, what I would like to tell you is a stick bug. A big female stick bug. Here we have my pet's stick bug, Chuck. She's a female and um, we found her outside and she was not near any good habitat. It was not that moisturized and we decided to take care of her. And her name is Chuck. Um, and she loves to give high fives. Yeah. <laughs> To take care of stick bugs, what you would have to do is you would have to have a nice size aquarium tank. If you have any rose bush or raspberry bushes by your house, that would be a good food supplies for them. Right here we have um, raspberry bush, but you can also use um, rose bush if you want. A nice supplies of soil, a good size water mister. You can also put some sticks inside of their cage. They will use the food supplies as maybe a climbing place, but what I added some bark and some sticks. And then for the water, you're just going to get a maybe cotton ball or just roll up some toilet paper and then just wet it down and that would be a good food supplies for them and they'll suck out of it. And of course, your friendly little stick bug. To tell the gender of these stick bugs, this is a female because she's as big as maybe my palm. But the males will only get to like half the size of her. But um, we named her Chuck because we just thought that's a cute name, but you can name him whatever you want. Bye, Chuck. Soon I'll upload a part two of this video, but um, that's it for now. Um, stay safe and have a good day. Bye!